Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and I'm at my parents' house because my mother and I are about to embark on a road trip to Chicago. Yes, 12 to 13 hours for funsies in a car. So I thought it'd be fun to do a what I eat on a road trip because it's gonna be like two whole days. We're gonna drive some hours today, I'm not quite sure where, and then finish up tomorrow. So it's gonna be a two-day road trip, what I eat so I don't starve to death. Ooh, maybe we'll get the Impossible Whopper. Who knows? I know my first thing that I wanna do this morning is get some coffee in my system. So maybe we'll stop at a Starbucks on the way. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you find it helpful for when you take a road trip. And without further ado, this is what I ate on a road trip to Chicago with my mom. So we're on the road, it's 9 a.m. And this is gonna be like a two day road trip. So we decided that we're stopping in Cleveland tonight. Uh, that is most of the way there, it's about eight hours. Chicago is like a little over 12 hours total. So we're gonna have dinner in Cleveland, whatever that is. I asked the Instagrams what we should eat there because that's where like all the knowledge is. Um, but on the way, we're just gonna find whatever we find. We'll see what happens. But for now, I have my coffee from Starbucks, so basic. It is a tall, hot soy latte with two shots of espresso. And it's great. Two shots, mom. <laughs> Road trip log, 30 minutes into the trip. Mom is pulled over because she doesn't trust the GPS and wants to look it up herself. <laughs> it's important, Rebecca, mm -hmm. to know where you are in the world. Mm -hmm. Not just follow the machines. So apparently my, <laughs> my mom was right. We were on our way to Cleveland, Virginia versus Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so I take back me making fun of my mom. <laughs> So now we're on the right way. Cause if it was up to me, we totally would have been in Cleveland, Virginia exactly. by now. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling a bit snacky and I was sent these perfectly free fruit bites. It's basically like a smoothie, except they put agar agar in it to make it into little jelly balls. And uh, I'm gonna tell you like, being real right now, the texture is a little bit strange, but it tastes pretty good. Um, and it's like 25 calories a pouch because I'm pretty sure these were meant for babies. But I'm probably gonna eat a couple of these because I'm getting kind of hungry and we haven't stopped yet for food. So we're at the King of Prussia service area near Philadelphia, and wow, I can either go to Starbucks, Aunt Annie's, or Burger King for breakfast. We'll see which one I choose. All right, so I'm definitely gonna grab a bar. You know what? I think I'm just gonna grab two just in case. I'm gonna get the chocolate peanut butter builders cliff protein bar and the minty one too. I'm gonna go see if I can get some oatmeal at Starbucks but just want to give a little bit of shout out to the impossible Whopper. It's just great having that option you know on road trips but um I think we can get an oatmeal here. Excuse me? Do you have oatmeal? They don't have any dairy in them, right? It can make them just water. No. I'll take the original. Thank you. Starbucks had whole grain oatmeal, and we have toppings of some raisins, some slivered almonds, and some brown sugar. So I'm just gonna try to open this with one hand. There we go. Ah, uh, this is not cooked yet. We're gonna let that sit for a few more minutes. That's like half the packet only. That's crazy. No? Yeah, that's a lot of sugar. Right? Alright, I'm putting like half the packet of sugar. <laughs> Put in all these raisins, cranberries and stuff. I ended up adding the nuts too. So yeah, I'm gonna have oatmeal with raisins and cranberries and stuff for breakfast. And I'll get back to you next time I eat. Wow! I set you up. I mean, I don't know how audio is, but this oatmeal's really good, guys. A great road trip option. Although, Everything, every single place there had a vegan option because Starbucks has oatmeal, Burger King has the new Impossible Whopper. Also, their apple pie is vegan and their fries are vegan, but I didn't want to eat apple pie and burgers for breakfast. And Aunt Annie's has a lot of uh, vegan pretzels. Not all of them, but most of them. At the store. Oh yeah, in the little convenience store where I got the Builders Bars. So, so far, it's been an easy time. 
Okay, I don't know why I'm hungry already. It's only been a little bit since I had the oatmeal, but I'm gonna eat the Cliff, I think this is chocolate mint, chocolate mint protein bar. And I love these Cliff bars. I don't get them very often because they're pretty high calorie, but when you're on a trip and you need food, I think they're awesome. It honestly just feels like you're eating a candy bar. Let's be real. Mmm. Yep. Wait, what is this called? It's kind of like a cucumber. Rummy. Rummy. So this is called rummy in Arabic. It's kind of like a cucumber, but in my opinion, it is much more delicious. We grow them in our garden at home, and my mom grabbed a few of these and some cherry tomatoes for the road. So I'm going to be splitting this with her. Half for me and half for her. We're at a rest stop right now. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a little snack. Mm. You know what it is? It tastes like a zucchini slash cucumber mm -hmm. together. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so I just took a nap. Mom's <laughs> been driving this whole time. I kind of want to ask to drive, but also I don't want to give her a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just leaving her to drive. And we, where are we? We're in Ohio. We're in Ohio. We're about 50 miles from Cleveland. Yeah, we're almost at Cleveland where we're gonna eat dinner, but I'm starving. I need to pee so bad. So we're here, I'm gonna pee, and then we're gonna see if we can find any food. So let's do that. All right. Oh my God, these are the Taco Bell chips. Yo, I might have to buy some of these just for a taste test. It's vegan. Okay, we're getting this one. All right. We have fire. The mild. Let's see. All right, then. Uh-huh. Well, this is happening. Let's do this. The most promising thing here is this place called Greens. I don't know. Maybe they will have something vegan to eat. It looks like they have, like, salad and stuff, I guess. Nah. Maybe this build-your-own pizza spot would have something. Nope, it's not build your own. Well then, guys. There isn't even a Burger King to get a burger. I can't even get McDonald's fries, cause beef grease, whatever, they put that in that shit. I guess my last thing is to check Starbucks, but honestly, the only thing I know that they have that's vegan is like oatmeal and I already ate that today. All right, I think I'm just gonna get a bagel. Can I have a bagel and do you have like the avocado spread? Dang it. Okay, they don't have any of that. Okay, so. These were the snacks that I was able to find. For the health, we have a Nokia superfood smoothie. It is non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, BPA-free. Organic strawberry pineapple smoothie. So, I mean, it's probably gonna be delicious. Tastes fine. Mm-hmm. And then, I was craving a little bit of salty snackiness, you know, because road trips. And I got this Popcorners Kettle Corn. I love this so much. Not all the Popcorners flavors are vegan, but a lot of them are, and they're delicious. The route calculation is complete. Proceed Thanks. to the nearest road. Okay, we have an hour until Cleveland, and that's where we're going to find a hotel. We haven't booked one yet, because um, we weren't sure where, we're gonna where we were gonna spend the night. Um, so yeah, hotel and dinner. We're thinking of eating dinner at this place called Town Hall. They are not fully vegan, but they have a lot of vegan options. <clears throat> and they seemed good online, so that's the plan. Drive straight after 900 feet. There it is. You can see it's on the lake, I think. Cleveland. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. We're about to try to get dinner at a place called Town Hall. Probably gonna be really loud in there, so I'm gonna have to voice over, but I am so hungry. The only real meal I had all day today was that oatmeal in the morning, and I've just been snacking since. Here we are. When I got there, I decided to do dessert before dinner. This is a gluten-free vegan chocolate brownie. It had a lot of chocolate chips, which was awesome, but the texture was weird, and the whole thing wasn't that chocolatey, so seven out of 10. The actual bowl I got was like a Thai curry sort of thing. They called it the Thai peanut hot bowl, and it was tofu with turmeric rice, peanut sauce, mixed veggies, and pieces of basil. It was pretty good, maybe like an eight out of 10. Super filling. So we're checking out of our hotel the next morning, and we had our car parked at valet, 
Um, and this Tupperware is not ours. Like, I think someone had a meal inside our car and then just left their Tupperware inside the car. And I'm so confused because this is not our Tupperware. And it's not like garbage. It's like someone's Tupperware from home with like, it looks like, yes, that is fish skin in it. Oh my God, I think my mom's gonna go complain to the manager. So my mom is probably inside uh, yelling at the manager because we found a fishy Tupperware in our car. I would have just let it go. I mean, nothing was stolen from the car, but you know moms. A few things. The first one is, if you hear like wind during this vlog at all, or this what I eat in a road trip video, uh, it's because my wind cover for my microphone is gone. I bought a new mic cover on Amazon and I shipped it to an Amazon locker in Chicago. So maybe tonight I can like pick it up from that locker or tomorrow morning, we'll see, and then the wind will be gone. What did they say? Oh, <laughs> well first I got my money back. For the valet? Yep. I went to the desk and I said, I have a complaint. I showed him the container and I said, you're gonna do two things. You're gonna give me an explanation of what happened and you're gonna give me my money back. All right, so now we're going to uh, Chicago Vegan. Chicago, no, Cleveland, Cleveland vegan. vegan. I can't get the names of these restaurants right to save my life, I don't know what's up. Um, yeah, for breakfast, so let's head out there. All right, here we are at Cleveland Vegan. Let's see what breakfast we have in store today. Oh, hey. There you go. All right, this place is freaking adorable. And they have some sandwiches to go, so I'm actually considering taking like a buffalo tofu wrap to go or something like that. By the way, I ended up ordering a breakfast sandwich. It's a house omelet with tempeh bacon, kale, tomato, avocado sprouts, and chipotle mayo on a bagel, I guess. So that's what we're getting for breakfast. It smells good. Yeah. It's a little hot. It's okay. It tastes like vegetables. <laughs> Starbucks. I gotta get my caffeine on. All right, the Starbucks looks like a bank. It was most definitely a bank at some point. Okay, so I got the Yuge, which is a tall soy latte, two shots of espresso. And while I was in there, I met a few youngsters um, and they were very excited that I was a vlogger and I took pictures with all of them, even though they had no idea who I was. So I thought that was really endearing. We have five more hours left on this road trip. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full, feeling about to get caffeinated in a good mood. How are you, mom? I'm very good. Yeah? I haven't eaten yet or drank any, well, water, but I feel very good. You know, the fasting in the morning, it's good. Looking forward to Chicago. Yep. All right, so my mom's finally letting me drive. I've been driving for the past hour and I still have like 83 miles on this road. Um, we're gonna get there around five o'clock and it's currently three, so two more hours to go and I'm still munching on the chips I got yesterday, and yeah, there's nothing much else to say. We're about to listen to like a podcast or something. Um, yep, I go. Copy away, girl. Wait, one more hour till we get there? Yeah. I thought it said we were gonna get there at five. Are we in a different time zone? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. So I'm gonna eat the other builder's protein bar that I bought yesterday. This is a peanut butter chocolate one. Mmm. Yep. Eating this. And then probably just gonna eat dinner in Chicago. We're in Chicago. My mom's trying to park, but there's like this. It's a weird spot. Okay, so we are in Chicago, which means this video is going to have a slight hiatus until the road trip back, because this video is only covering the road trip. But. I will tell you the first place we eat today in Chicago. We are going to Veggie Grill in a minute. Actually, it's like literally right where we can't see it. It's right there. That's the Veggie Grill. Let's grab some food because I'm very hungry. Hey, good morning. It is 6 ish a.m. on Monday after our two day weekend in Chicago. And we're on our way back home. And unlike the drive here, we had to do this drive in one day. 
So we will be back in New York by tonight. <sighs> if all goes well, it's gonna take around 14 hours. Yo, okay, I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping for like three hours. It's like 10 o'clock um, or more, more than three hours. Anyway, so we just stopped at a rest stop. I also have a muscle pulled in my leg. So I'm walking like I don't have a kneecap. It's great. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, my mom shaved 10 minutes off of the drive, so now we're only allowed to stop for 10 minutes at the Starbucks. <laughs> so we're gonna use the bathroom. I'm going to copy the same exact breakfast I had on the way here and just get a coffee and a oatmeal and maybe I don't see any place to grab bars. Oh yeah, maybe grab a few bars. Poor girl at Starbucks was the only girl there. Like there was only one lady at the Starbucks. So she was like making orders and then turning around and taking an order and then turning around and making the order and it took so long but I got a classic oatmeal and a latte I think she forgot to put my second shot in my latte because it doesn't taste that much like coffee but I wasn't about to make her uh, do another one because I felt bad for her so I have my latte and my oatmeal and that is what I'm having for breakfast by the way I've totally been snacking on these skinny pop popcorns last night and the night before I just was too lazy to record it. And I'm about to finish the bag now. <sighs> okay, so we're in Pennsylvania. It is 2.38 p.m. We have 351 miles left to go, and there is a Taco Bell in my future. Um, oh, and a Burger King, but no, not Burger King. I know Burger King has the Impossible Whopper, but like, it was fine, but I prefer Taco Bell. So we're getting Taco Bell for lunch. And I think I'm gonna get a seven layer burrito and just that because I know they have like cinnamon twists But those kind of taste like sugary styrofoam and I know the crunch wrap could be veganized But the seven layer burrito is better. So I might get two of them. Hello Taco Bell Can I please have two seven layer burritos? Okay. No cheese no sour cream add potatoes I got my food, my mom's in the bathroom, and she didn't get food, so I'm, I'm not gonna wait for her, I'm gonna start eating now. <laughs> it's the potatoes and the hot sauce that make this. And the beans. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I've never tried the Diablo sauce. So, taste test. <clears throat> it's a little spicy. Not bad though, it's good. It is currently 7.59 p.m. We are 20 minutes away from home-ish. And I can see New York City in the horizon. My butt is numb. And I also ate a peach that I did not feel like recording because I... I'm over this road trip and I want to be home. And that is all for this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! As always, thank you so much to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex, Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Lucia, Juanita, Charlotte, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, and Lauren. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support.